here we are at the right wing and engine section. Essentially, inspection is the same for both aircraft size. Let's begin with checking inboard leading edge condition. Continuing with the engine's inspection, there are 5 main things we have to start with. On the front side, we inspect general appearance of the engine cowls, fan blades and P2T2 probe. Under the engine and on the side, we have to verify that the oil storage and precooler exhaust valves are closed, thrust traversers stowed, pylon and turbine looks normal with all edges in closed position. Be extra vigilant looking for any fluid leakages on the underside. Also properly check turbine and exhaust areas for any deformations which could be caused by heat. Caution. During cold weather operations, extra attention must be given to intake and fan blades for any ice accumulation, especially on the rear surfaces. While facing the wing, properly inspect leading edge slides for signs of any kind of damage. When refueling is finished, verify that the refuel connection panel is securely closed. Check the navigation lights are working, strobe light isn't cracked and the winglet isn't damaged. It is a good spot for the upper fuselage and antennas for general condition check. Take a moment for it. At the trailing edge of the wing, count the static discharges and consult technicians if any of them is broken or missing. Moving closer to the fuselage, inspect the aileron, its seal, underside surface of the wing and flaps. Any evidence of suspicious condition or damage must be reported. On the ground, if the temperature is between 3 and 30 degrees, avionics cooling system ground valve is automatically opened and it provides additional cooling to the mid equipment bay. Check if it has no obstructions and general condition. This concludes the wing and engine inspection.